So, free room clips have been making their way into my feed, and I gotta say, I'm really enjoying the anime so far. And one of my favorite parts about the magic system is the aesthetics for the main offensive and defensive spells. Because they, they look really cool, and they're also pretty simple, which is my favorite combination of stuff ever. And when I saw the defensive magic spell for the first time, I thought, dude, that is so doable in Unreal 5. And after looking around, I basically mixed the techniques that I found from two separate tutorials in order to create something kind of close. I'll leave a link to them in the pinned comment, but basically I got the hexagon texture pattern from Into the 3D and the pixel offset technique from Alex Wong. So check them out when you get the chance, but yeah, when you mix it together, you get some pretty cool looking stuff. Now, since we've already covered materials before in the past, I'm gonna assume that you generally know how the material editor in Unreal works. Instead of walking you through the whole creation process, instead I'm just going to show you and explain what each of these node groups do and how they create the effect together. First though, you'll want to make sure that your material is set to translucent, unlit, and that refraction is set to index of refraction. Okay. So let's detach everything and just start with the basics. We have a Fresnel and a depth fade node. And when you add two parameter nodes and a constant node set to these values, when you string it all together and you add a color to it, you basically get this, which is the traditional setup for like 90% of all energy shields, but it's got some cool abilities like it can collide with the environment and the collision width determines how fat the collision glow looks and the outer Fresnel controls how fat the energy shield looks as it gets closer to the walls. Now the next part is the hexagon pattern itself. It uses the texture that we got from Into the 3D and we have a basic texture coordinate system set up to control the tiling of the texture. When you combine it with the Fresnel, then you get something like this. Pretty cool, right? Now for the next part, it's not necessary, but basically if we take a radial vector node and create a variable for speed, drag it into a panner node and drag that into a texture node set to noise number five, if we mix that with the hexagon pattern, it gives us this kind of energy pulse effect, which just makes things look a lot more alive. And now as far as deploying the shield goes, there's two main parts to it. The first is a parameter that we call shield coverage. This just determines how much of the shield has been deployed. And we're just gonna connect it to the main color directly like so. so make sure the color is set to a high value like 100 so that you can see it glow. And the second part of the deployment just determines what direction the shield gets deployed. We are using a constant vector 3 set to 0, 0, 1. And when you combine that with this node up here, you will see the shield gets deployed from bottom to top. If we were to change this to 0, 1, 0 instead, you would see that now the shield appears horizontally instead. Now, if we combine all that together, if we change the coverage variable, you will see the shield gets generated like so, which is pretty cool, but we still got this kind of weird refraction thing going on near the edges. And if you want to get rid of that, you can do that with these two nodes set like this. Now the refraction is gone and it looks great, but I think things look a little bit better when there's a little bit of extra motion. And that's why we added these nodes for a pixel offset. And you make sure that all of these are controlled with the saturated mask. And when you try the shield now, you will see that as it's deployed, the bubble slightly changes his shape and at this point you're basically done so this is how the final setup looks it's not too crazy but again it looks pretty good for what it is and as usual if you're a patron in the king tier or higher you can just download this exact material directly but you will need at least unreal 5.5 to open it if you're not a patron then don't worry just copy the nodes as shown and it should work exactly the same regardless hope that helps and as always hope you have a fantastic day and i'll see you around <laughs>